Hi, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in this video, I'm going to share a savvy trick that can strengthen your bond with your man. And it starts with understanding the four minute rule. Now, before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Of course, I would love to hear from you. So be sure to comment right below and tell me a little bit about you so that I know how to support you on your path to big love. If you like what I share here in this video, please share it with a friend who's struggling with creating uniting lasting partnership. So what is this four minute rule? The four minute rule was actually covered by Dr. Phil in his show many years ago. He shared this rule that I saw in 2013 and its impact has never left me. Basically, he talks about how the first four minutes of seeing your partner or anyone can dictate and foreshadow the tone, mood and general outcome of your conversation and the quality of time spent together. For example, if after a long day of work, you and your man both come home stressed from the challenges of the day and you start rattling on about how your boss was especially nasty to you and how your neck has been hurting all day and how you're stressed from all the bills, this kind of chatting sets a negative precedent for the rest of your evening with your partner. The first four minutes are better spent connecting in a way that's more uplifting and mindful. Share the best parts of your day. Share something sweet about your partner. Play with your pet. Find something to be joyful about. Give your partner a warm hug and a kiss. Hold hands and enjoy reconnecting. This is not to say that your problems aren't valid or important or even urgent, but it's all about waiting for the right timing, being able to read the room and being empathetic and mindful about how you present your worries and relationship issues. Of course, this isn't about pretense. This is about delaying the heavy stuff until later. Also, timing can be just as important as the actual words that you want to say. And when the time is right to share your woes, I want to encourage you to do so with some grace. And how do you do that? That? Well, this free gift of mine will help you to avoid inflammatory language that can trigger unnecessary conflict. It's called word poison. I reveal the most common do's and don'ts when communicating with your man. Check out the link below in the description to get your free gift. Once you know these 16 words and phrases to avoid using when dealing with venting your frustrations, you'll be able to share your worries with grace and clarity. Of course, until this right time comes along, you simply have to wait and allow the first four minutes to pass. Honestly, four minutes is really not a very long amount of time at all, and it's precisely the perfect amount of time to simply indulge in the vulnerability and abundance of uplifting emotions that comes with reuniting with a person you truly care about. This is not only beneficial for your partner or when you catch up with a friend, this is beneficial for your own self because other than helping you to build intimacy with another, it helps you to see and focus on the best things that happen in your life because what you focus on expands. If you've ever dated someone who always has problems to share, you'll know what it feels like to be constantly listening to the darker side of life every time you see them. It certainly doesn't feel good and becomes problematic. I remember dating a guy like this and all he did was complain about his work, his ex-wife, and he'd share negative things about his friends. I know that this may not seem easy at first, particularly if you think that complaining gives you a sense of validation and a feeling of being cared for. Sure, in some ways it does create these feelings, but you don't need to complain to feel heard or to connect with someone. And sometimes people complain about others to feel better about themselves. It can be ego driven and a way to boost their own level of importance. Trust me, when your man hears you complaining, the moment he sees you every time, he will not be thinking, oh, poor you. Yes, men who like to be fixers may rise to the challenge, yet most people will try to escape the conversation, particularly if it's a repetitive one. Basically, when you see your man, the bathroom sink could be currently flooding your hallway for all you care, but you won't comment on that until you've had your four minutes of good vibes and positivity with your man. Perhaps that's extreme, but you get the idea. The main takeaway here is that first impressions matter even with people you've already met and who already know you. If you initially encourage an environment free of stress, anxiety and frustration, it'll put both of you and your partner in the right headspace to actually tackle your problems with a clearer mind and heart. Not being able to follow this 
four minute rule may condition your partner to feel automatically burned with stress as the very thought of seeing you is subconsciously associated with these negative emotions. If you're in need of a little more help on this, then don't worry. My program called Never Lose Them is just the thing you need as it talks about the importance of what you focus on as a couple and how that can expand and take over the relationship. It also highlights the four traits of a highly desirable woman, which is invaluable knowledge when it comes to how you show up with men. This program allows you to cultivate the edge you need to create the kind of magnetic love you deserve. So that's the four minute rule. Always keep in mind that it'll only take four minutes of your time together to simply enjoy each other's presence and to truly feel the united type of love that we all desire. And that's all we have time for today. Now before you go, please take a moment if you haven't yet to comment below and tell me all about your relationship challenges, wants and desires. I want to find out about you and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big united love. And be sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified of my new hot video. Also, we all need some loving support from time to time. So please take a moment to share this with a friend. All you need to do is click the link below this video or you can copy and paste it and text it to a friend who needs some help looking after herself when it comes to love. And recently I've been more active on Instagram, so please share this video as a story to support others. And please tag me at Nadine Peart, I'd love to see you there. Because dating and relationships aren't always easy to navigate, so let's work together by sharing the love to create sexy, mindful partnerships. Thank you for being here with me, I value you, and I look forward to seeing you again at my next video.